Hi again, everybody. Here's an interesting game that was played in Vienna in 1951 with Huber with the white pieces and Theck with the black, and it's a Queen's Gambit declined Slav defense. And it starts out d4, d5, c4, c6, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, bishop f5, e3, e6, and now white brings his queen out to b3, hitting at black's b-pawn. So black brings his queen to c7. White brings his bishop up to d2. Black brings his knight at b8 out to d7. And now white plays c, takes d5. And black recaptures with his c-pawn. And now white swings the rook over to c1, threatening a discovered attack on black's queen. So black plays the queen to b6, offering an exchange of queens. But instead, white plays his knight up to b5, threatening, of course, to come in at c7 with check, with a double attack on the rook as well. So black plays his bishop out to d6 to guard the c7 square. But now white confronts that bishop by playing the bishop at b2 up to b, or excuse me, the bishop from d2 out to b4. And so black decides to take off the bishop. And white recaptures and is now of course renewing the threat to play the knight to c7 with check. And since black can't castle, since white's queen at b4 prevents him from doing it, he instead plays the king over to d8. And now, of course, white cannot move the knight, otherwise he will lose his queen with check. So instead, white plays the knight at f3 out to e5, threatening, of course, to take the pawn at f7 with another double attack. So black goes ahead and takes off the knight. White recaptures and hits, and of course hitting at the knight at f6, so black retreats the knight to d7 and hits at the pawn. So white now swings his queen over to f4. And now black gets in a quick check at a5 with the queen. And instead of blocking the check by moving his knight back to c3, white goes ahead and blocks the check by playing the pawn up to b4. And so black goes down and takes off the a pawn. But white can get the pawn back very quickly because he plays his queen to g5 check. And black blocks the check with his f-pawn, and now white takes the pawn at g7, menacing the rook in the corner. So black moves the rook to f8. And now white brings his knight at b5 over to d6. And black decides to move his queen to b2 and menace the rook at c1. And now it's time for the challenge to the viewer. If you'd like to pause the video now and see if you can find White's next move, I'll wait for you. White now starts a mating attack. He plays Knight takes b7, check. And black only has one move. He has to move the king to e8. And now white plays a fantastic move. He plays queen takes d7, check, forcing the black king to capture the queen. And now white plays bishop to b5, 
check. And once again, black only has one move. He has to move the king to e7. And white now finishes the game with rook to c7. Checkmate. I like how all the pieces really cooperate there after the queen sacrifice. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the game, and I'll see you next time.